If you have one of these, throw it away or give it to someone you really don't like. Some of you may remember when I tested this sketchy USB fan. And no, the exposed blades weren't the real problem. It didn't carry any computer malware either, as some viewers suspected. The danger was quite low-tech, but still capable of doing damage. In fact, I got quite a lot of comments under that video from people confirming that these USB fans can blow the USB ports of laptops or brick devices altogether. The issue becomes apparent when I hook up the fan to an oscilloscope. These voltage spikes reach over 20 volts, and they are not supposed to be there. By popular request, I've also bought one of these. If you've never seen these before, they come with a USB or lightning connector. You can get them for about a dollar, they come in different colors, and if you don't like your colleagues, you can put your company logo on them. Somehow, this fan is even worse. I'm measuring spikes of over 40 volts, and this cannot be healthy for any USB port. The reason we're seeing these sudden peaks in voltage is the fan's DC motor. When I plug in something that doesn't have a motor, like this USB light, we see nothing on the scope. But because of the inductance of the motor and the way current pulses through its coils many times per second, we get these huge voltage spikes, and they can damage the sensitive electronics inside your phone. Filtering these spikes is possible. This component right here is a capacitor, and it costs less than a penny. Watch what happens when I put one of them in parallel with the motor. The spikes just disappeared from the scope. Mostly. They're still there if I zoom in, but they're much smaller now. This is just a crude example, but it shows the problem is not too difficult to fix. A proper filter would include several capacitors and be soldered directly on the motor. That should work even better. By the way, some viewers said that using a diode should also work, but in this case, that is not doing much. Now, you're probably wondering what happens if I actually plug this into my phone. Well, I tested it off-camera, so I don't have any video of it, but I got white flashing lines all over the screen, so I unplugged it right away. The phone still works, but you'll have to trust me on this one, I'm not testing it again. Even if it had proper filtering, this fan is just not a safe product. The vibrations it's causing may physically damage your phone, and if you block the blades by accident, you're practically putting a short circuit across the charging port. So if you're hot this summer, just get one of these. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.